Hi guys, today we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 34. Now here we find where the Apostle Paul is um, encouraging the church in Corinth in the way that he does so brilliantly because he's having to remind uh, the people of who they are in Christ and he uses the whole power of the resurrection uh, message that without the power of the resurrection, um, then we really have no message. Um, and so Paul's encouraging the people that we need to remember that, that when we accept Christ, that we were once dead, but now we become alive uh, in him. The word resurrection actually means to stand up as a corpse. So what Paul is saying is, is you are, the, the past is no longer where you come from. It's not what you used to do. It's not who you used to be. But when you accept Christ, now this, this resurrection power is a real power that you and I have inside of us. And without it, um, we don't have much. But Paul also makes it really clear that we can't get to the power of the resurrection without first going the way of the cross. It's that we're called to take up our cross daily and follow Christ. So it's, it's through the cross and the power of the resurrection that we find um, the power that, that God has given uh, to us to live to live right and to live alive in him. And so he uses that word alive because he's addressing these people that saw you know, Calvary. They saw Christ come, you know, come back. They saw the holes in his hands. They, they witnessed, they were a witness to the resurrected Christ, yet they were falling asleep already. And I, I think in all of our lives, there's a real truth in this, that we can see lots of things that God does. We can hear lots of things that God does in our lives. We can experience him in all kinds of ways. But if we forget um, the cross and we forget how Christ has died for us and we forget the mercy that he's had on our life and we forget the things that he's already done it's so easy to disconnect ourselves and literally fall asleep literally get to the place where we just kind of forgot what what God did so so Paul's reminding him that listen these guys have fallen asleep and you need to remember to stay alive you're meant to be alive in Christ and from that place that's the power of the gospel message of what we have and not to be worried not to be worried that um, you know, that no matter what we encounter, um, that, that Christ will put all things under his feet. Five times uh, Paul uses the phrase about the power, uh, you know, of Christ and putting the enemy under his feet. That uh, at the end of the day, God is in control. So even if it doesn't feel like you have power, even if it feels like you don't have power over sin or addiction or hardship or poor choices, what Paul's saying is you do have power over it, even if you don't feel it. And there is a day coming uh, that the Lord will make all things right. Uh, but in between that time, you do have a power inside of you. You have to learn to access that power. You have to know what Christ has already done. And just remember where you came from because that's a good place to start. And then the, the times that God has, you know, come through in your life um, at various times. And remember that even if it's only one time that you hold on to that. And then in the process of that, it really matters who you're around. You know, because we can hang around people and, and who we hang around is what's influencing us and it's what feeds us. And so what we feed ourselves um, in all kinds of different ways with the word and, and uh, by prayer and by all those different, you know, spiritual disciplines that we have, it's to feed us the right things. And company is an important thing in scripture that the people that we hang around and the people that we're listening to that are influencing us really does make a difference because um, we're not to be ignorant of it, but it can affect our character. And more often than not, if we're hanging around people that aren't stirring us on with Christ and reminding us of what God has done and reminding us what we're for, it's really easy to get off track. And so it's a good reminder for us to remember what God has done, who we are in Christ, that God is fully in control, but in the process of that, we have choice. And we have choice about what we're feeding ourselves, what we're reminding ourselves of, and also um, the, the things that we're feeding ourselves and the, and the people that we hang around. Because at the end of the day, all of those things are influencing our walk with God.